um, then are we good to begin? Dana? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, so you'll have to, we're, we are live already, is it? Or, uh, yes, it is. We are already live. Uh, okay. Dana, are we good to begin? Yes, yes, yes. Dana? Yes, uh, Yuki said yes. Yeah, so you know, we are live already. So there you go. I guess I'm able to. Hi. All right. Okay. We are, we are you know, still having people joining us. So good afternoon to all those who are dropping in your comments in the you know, chat box. Uh, just two more minutes and we are good to begin. Good evening, good afternoon to all of you who are dropping in, you know, uh, your details. Thank you for identifying yourself on the chat box. Nice, Roman Andri. So we're just waiting for one more minute and we are good to begin. Thank you. Thanks for understanding. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. To all the faculties and students from various colleges, thank you very much for being here today. So thank you for joining with us. So, um, you know, hi, hello and welcome. Vanakam, a warm welcome to all those who, you know, who've joined, uh, you know, to this amazing, you know, Q&A show, you know, uh, presented by my online citizen. So this Q&A show is all about chat with Rex, okay, in collaboration with Talk Like Rex. And um, today we will be chatting with the um, amazing, you know, speech coach, career recognition coach, Robinson Rex on um, speaking skills during a, a job interview, effective communication in a job interview, basically all about that. So, Roman Andre, thank you very much. We are happening live. So, what I would quickly, I'm going to take a minute and request you all, okay, uh, before I could introduce our resource speaker, our, you know, uh, facilitator for this, you know, uh, fantastic Q&A show. I'm going to request for you all to quickly go and text your friends, all right, and share the link with them. You can also, you know, invite them to, you know, uh, participate in this amazing Q&A show, all right? Can we do that? Okay, to all the students from Nazareth College, to all the students from Bishop Hiba, to all the students from um, CTT. St. Anne's, um, you know, a lot of other engineering colleges we get to see from Panamiller and all that. So thank you very much. Fantastic. Lovely. Very familiar names, you know, it's up on the chat box. Lovely. Nice to see. Hi, 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 everybody. Hello, everyone. So I am, um, you know, if we are audible enough and if the connectivity is super strong and all that, you can, you know, uh, say, yes, ma'am, good. You can give us a thumbs up on the chat box in case if there is any tech glitch, Kindly bear with us and we would, you know, advance on our regret for the inconvenience in, in if at all. All right. So there you go. We still have people joining us. Fantastic. All right. Okay, no further ado. I am going to introduce our resource speaker for today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Robinson Rex. Hi, Rex. Hi, Rex. Hi, Yuki. Hi, 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 guys. Hello. Hi. Uh, good to see everybody over here. Very nice. Thank you so much, Yuki, for that great introduction. And uh, thank you so much, guys, for the opportunity. Sorry? I'm going to do with you. I want to share your story with 
you know the amazing you know uh, audience who's, who's joined us so <laughs> Sorry, na guys. You know, I would want you to, you know, uh, keenly, you know, listen to it. So this gentleman, this ha- handsome gentleman that you're getting to, you know, meet and you know, who will be interacting with you and sharing a lot of insights. All right, you will hear that, ma. Or a pizza, you know, boy, or a pizza chef, I heard that. You know, he turned into a career recognition coach, and you know what? He is an amazing father. to a fantastic and, and super awesome handful three kids and a wonder woman okay he's a husband to a wonder woman and then after being a pizza chef he worked as a customer service officer for two years and moved up the ladder to being a communications trainer for the last 11 years he's put a lot of efforts efforts into learning new skills a lot of you know uh, skills that would help him move up in an organization and also be able to you know begin his own online entrepreneur ship and at present he works as a deputy manager in training and has been enjoying working and doing a new- doing a lot of new things interacting and meeting a lot of people building up his network and sharing the learned and you know also being able to learn more and uh, on that note rex believes that the future of the world would only depend on digital platform as we are halfway through and that every individual should learn okay how to profit from the digital age which is coming so on that note ladies and gentlemen uh, you can put your hands together and welcome the fantastic amazing career recognition coach speech coach robinson rex over to you rex Thank you so much, Yuki. So energetic and lovely to hear someone introduce you like that. Hi, guys. Uh, it's good to see so many of you in here. Right. Okay. Now, uh, before we start off, uh, I know most of you have come here for a reason. Okay. All of you would have been waiting to learn something, and that's why you're coming here. You're going to spend a lot of time here. But I'm going to make sure. I'll tell you something very honest. Before you leave this session, you're going to learn something important. However. நீ என்ன கத்துக்கனாலோ இனிக்கி ரைட் நீ என்ன கத்துக்கனாலோ இனிக்கி ஐ அம் வெரி ஷூர் யூ சப்போஸ்ட் டு யூஸ் இட் அது இம்ப்ளிமென்ட் பண்ணோம் அது யூஸ் பண்ணா தான் உண்டு இல்லனா தேர் இஸ் நோ பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் இட் லர்னிங் ஹியர் இஃப் யூ ரியலி வாண்ட் டு நோ ஹவ் டு எஃபெக்டிவ்லி கம்யூனிகேட் இன் யுவர் இன்டர்வியூஸ் தென் யூ ஹேவ் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தீஸ் டெக்னிக்ஸ் விச் ஐ ஹேவ் பீன் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்சிங் ஃபார் தி பாஸ்ட் 11 இயர்ஸ் and make a note of it and make sure you guys have a book a pen paper whatever it is kai lavana edikonga server lavana edikonga edhana pannunga but i want you to make a note because what i've done this is based on a lot of research which i've done from my experience and i i, I will be very honest with what i'm telling you all of you who are listening you want to get a job you want to get a dream job it's not a very difficult thing okay the idea lies in what i'm going to talk to you today and i want you guys to make sure you make a note of it and implemented practice i will share with you the tips and pointers of how you're going to work and use it on a daily life so that when your interview comes the day of your interview comes you will be spot on you'll be ready ana you must do it without doing it there's no point of doing it okay so get ready to learn if you oh thank you so much for all the welcome i see a lot of people clapping hands welcoming me thank you so much uh, we have ruth hema nirma uh, nirmal uh, jan sirani gayatri krishnaveni danusha so many of you guys thank you so much for welcoming me thank you for making it for the session if you're ready to start off now if you're ready to start just say let's go those of you are ready to start if you're ready and if you want to learn more from today's session which no trainer will actually train you because you will be charged for this you know this entire session which i am going to train you this is a blueprint okay this is a blueprint it's called the effective communication in interview blueprint so if you're going to learn this this is seriously charged it's a chart session wherever you go today people really charge you if you go to facebook if you look at youtube sometimes you won't get these pointers but you are going to get it free today and that is because my os is going to help you get that so let's go although they were ready type let's go i want to see the the, the chat box the chat box explode today or oh, yes i want to see there a lot of like let's go i want more come on those of you are ready to say yes i want to learn today and i am going to get my job which i have been waiting for this time you know you're going to learn some deep secrets which is going to be taught to you which is not anywhere else if you if you're going to do your research and get to know so much it would take you almost weeks together but i'm going to put it together and i'm going to train you on that today 
So let's go. All right. The chat box is exploding with countless number of let's go. Thank you, guys. Okay, right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share my screen and you're going to look at a, a brief PPT which I made for all of you guys. So let's say... Okay, right. Uh, we are on. And uh, are you guys able to see my screen, all of you? If you're able to see my screen, just say yes. All of you, if you're able to see my screen, you okay? Yes, very well. Yeah. yeah, okay, right. Hope all of you are able to see my screen. Those of you who are not able to see my screen, don't worry. It will pop up in some time, maybe because of technical, but definitely all of you will be able to see it. So, very nice. I still love the the let's go coming in so many people saying let's go wow that is brilliant that is brilliant wow okay super it's so motivating guys this is so many of you message okay right let's begin with our session today so guys one more time a brief introduction yuki gave me a beautiful introduction thank you so much once again uh from my side i'm going to make it more pictorial for you guys i'm robinson rex you can call me rex and um Throughout my life, I've done close to 350 trainings and webinars put together, 350 plus trainings and webinars. I've trained over 10,000 people in my life, approximately over 10,000 people, which is not just uh, professionals. I'm talking even about students. I love training a lot of students. I love to help students understand that there is so many, so many ways of coming up in life in today's world. Your parents are my parents, of course. You know, my dad pursued IIT in, in Madras. So, yes. And I was born for him. <laughs> so, people, when they came home, were like, hey, people used to think that, you know, if you do a simple degree, you're, you're like, it's just not capable enough. That That is very, very wrong. Very wrong. My dad pursued IIT, but what is he doing today? He's not an IIT, he's, he's running his business. So I always take this big lesson in life, okay? It's on my LinkedIn post also. I typed a story about this. You know, my dad said, when I wanted to do engineering, I'm not an engineer, but when I wanted to do engineering, my dad said, if you are not good at something, don't do it. Go for what you're good at. Automatically, you'll pick up. Engineering, 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 and I was like, without hopes, I went to my dad and I was like, dad, I want to do engineering. My dad said, why? What, what, what passion do you have towards engineering? You don't, then don't do it. Do what you're capable of doing. Take a normal degree. You will come up in life, definitely. And today, that's why I'm thankful to my dad. I'm thankful to God for bringing me up. So, in you know, throughout so many so many years of experience, of course, I've learned so much. It is, uh, I wouldn't say education will help you go up some. It is certain things you have to learn. And that learning comes through experience also. And that's why I'm going to share today. So, uh, I'm, I'm, of course, I'm not an in, in engineer. I'm a, I'm a BCA graduate. I pursued a BCA from the Patrician College of Arts and Science. Carry on, okay? So moving on, uh, I love training. I've been a trainer. Uh, Yuki would have told you. You would have heard that ever since I made it to my. I was. I, I'll take you through my profession, of course, in the next slide. But I love training. I love to see people change. When a soli gurta the kathik to sorry panna mudi la marbuniya soli gurta the the same mode. You understand? It's it's so it's fun when you train people and change, you know. In fact, I work with Yuki. Yuki also was a trainer once upon a time. So I'm sure she you you'd see that training is an amazing field. And today, in today's world, like especially during COVID, the, the training field is is going towards an uptrend. It's a boom. Training field buying a boom out. So Najibir, what I want to Training, every such trainer out there, after keeping that topic is for another day, but definitely someday we will do.
Uh, hi, Rex. Rex, you are cracking up. You are totally on mute now. We, I mean, in the sense, we are not able to hear you. Yeah, your video is clear. Yeah. Are you able to hear me now? Perfect, perfect, Rex. Right, okay. Sorry about that, guys. Something wrong with my mic. Okay, right, okay. So I love training moving forward. Here's my journey, okay? So I actually worked, the first one, if you see that suitcase, I actually worked with my dad as a salesperson. In fact, when I say sales, I can't say salesman. I was a sales boy. So when I was in the eighth or ninth, my dad used to tell me to go sell stuff. And he used to have this sanitary waste shop where we used to sell a lot of sanitary waste stuff. So, um, so I used to go to places like hotels and I was in the eighth standard, seventh and eighth. When I go there, people would always, Oi, you were chinna waste lane, like, I said, no, sir, I've just come to sell this. If you like it, what are you with today? So I used to make good profit. Dad used to give me pocket money. But that was not my profession. It was not my career. So when dad was going through a little bit of, uh, you know, financial problems, I could not sell anymore because that job was not really, it was not making me happy. To me, I want a job where I have to keep running. I have to keep talking. I have to keep moving around. You know, selling is more like it didn't make that, that pump in me, even though it did make me run and, so I joined Pizza Hut. Along Kerry, but being a Pizza Hut, everybody would have heard of Pizza Hut, right? Good afternoon, guys. I see all of you wishing me. Thank you so much, guys. We started with the session. I hope you guys are taking notes. Not now, of course, not about stuff I'm talking about. But moving forward, we're going to talk about stuff. So here's a quick introduction, and then we'll start off with the important topic. So uh, I joined Pizza Hut and I became a chef. I gained a lot of experience in making pizzas, pastas. I gained reputation over there. I understood how to work in a hotel industry. Uh, proactiveness was another skill which came up. Proactiveness now, Yosikarde. Artha the enna say no, apri. Andamari were thinking on the Changa, uh, uh, Pizza Hut, well, say no. So that's how Pizza Hut helped me. And then I moved on to my first job, which is a call center job, which is, uh, of course, I worked as a caller from Alsec Technologies. And I slowly, I, I slowly grew up to become a trainer there after two years. And from then onwards, I've just moving, I've been moving up the ladder. And it's not like I've never moved up the ladder before that. I've always been moving up the ladder. So here's a tip to everybody. Moving up the ladder and solamodi apame, but the one growth, abin pesamode, nyawichkonga. Growth is not about positional change. Manager lend the senior manager. Uh, caller lend the senior caller. In the idala one the growth career, in the one the designation change. When we are a growth into the everyday learning is good. When you learn something every day, like for example, yesterday I learned how to make videos. That is growth. Today I can put that in my resume. Right? So that is growth. Learning something every day. You have to be a lifelong learner. So if you're in this session and if you got to understand that you have to be a lifelong learner, it is a serious thing, especially in a world like today. In the Maria Kavala, definitely you have to be a lifelong learner. You know, and the other Maria, our engineering Pantana Munjipa, engineering Panadur Munjibach. He doesn't really study anything much, or he just does, does his job, a business, and he's happy with it. But today, it's not like that. You have to keep learning something or the other if you want to keep moving up the ladder. Okay, so that's my tip. Another tip for you guys. Keep moving up the ladder. Keep learning on daily. Maybe we'll talk a lot more about this. So I, I married a superwoman or wonder woman. Whatever you can say. I married a, a wonderful person in my life. Uh, Nadia is even, you know, was, she, we met at church and a wonderful friend. So uh, now we together have around three beautiful children. Uh, the first one is Elijah, Zach, and the last one is uh, Naomi, who's nine months old. So I have uh, two boys and a, and a girl, right? So busy world. Yeah. Right now, even if you find my door, three musketers. So don't worry about it. Okay. Right. Moving forward. So guys, I want you to ask you ask yourself this question. Okay. And I want you to put that in the chat box. Um, okay. So probably we have any guy. I will Paul. Don't worry, I will be talking both in English and Tamil just for the audience sake, so don't worry. And uh, I hope you guys are comfortable with me speaking like this. 
and i hope you're enjoying the session also right now i want you guys to ask yourself this question what is life going to be in the next five years for yourself if you have an answer to that go you don't have to put it down in the chat box or if you want to put it please do but make this a serious question what is life in another few years or five years from now for me when it comes to my professional life i'm looking at these three things as a priority i want to be a good crypto investor crypto cryptocurrency is the next boom right now it's been going up it's a volatile state but you can definitely try it don't be i mean it shouldn't be capturing your mind that you become too greedy about it but i'm looking at becoming a good uh, becoming a good investor in the cryptocurrency world and i also want to be a podcaster those of you who don't know what podcasting is that for another day subject okay but you have the internet to do your research so yeah so i put my research pani baathu and another thing is i want to be an online entrepreneur online entrepreneur i want to be a coach on the online world so if somebody has a problem i want to coach them automatically to the online portals today which we have and trust me guys these things today they will be the next they will be the future okay right so i see that there are close to around 240 uh, participants wow that's that's mind blowing for today's session and make sure the session is amazing as it goes on uh yes yeah, so i see a lot of people in the next 5 years what do they want to be a uh, jansi wonderful way as a good teacher and a good mother spot on i want to be the best hr shirin that's amazing thiban uh, thiban says oh sorry thiban has not said much but anyways okay <laughs> right okay so my that, so that is my work life what about personal life if everything goes fine of course life should be very colorful right you have a great i have a great family of course and uh, it's up to me bring up bring them up and uh, you know that life balance of work and life so i i should be having a very colorful life now it's not like it's black and white right now <laughs> it is colorful but we'll continue to make it more colorful in the coming future so thank you guys for being so patient and listening to so many things right okay today's session effective communication during interviews i hope you guys are ready and uh, i still see a lot of people still answering shrini wants to be the best hr of course shrin said Ruth, a wonderful person, best teacher, best mother. Wow. Okay, a lot of people here want to be uh, teachers and mothers. Teachers, this session is especially for you guys. Effective communication, and those of you who are looking out to become your get your right your job, those of you who are looking out to get the right job which you're looking for, this session is especially for you guys. So make sure you pay attention and go ahead and make sure you take down a lot of notes as you can. Okay. Right. Okay. So let's move on to effective candidate interviews. First off, I want to ask you this question. Answer me if yes. Have you ever failed in life? Answer me this question. Have you ever failed in life? I hope you guys are able to hear me. Yeah, uh, Yuki, uh, am I audible? Perfectly audible. Yeah. Okay, And awesome. See, the screen is up. I'm running. I'm sorry, Yuki. You're breaking up. Uh, your voice is breaking. How about now, uh, Rex? Yeah, yeah, it's fine now. Yep, you are clear. Clean is up. Your video is clear. All good. All right, fine. So, all of you guys, once again, I'm looking for the chat box to explain, explore. I haven't seen any comments till now, but I'm looking to argue one more time. How many have you ever failed in life? When I say have you failed in life, it could be a simple exam. Maybe you failed in. Yes. So, Jansi answered the first yes. Uh, Somya Gopita no okay that's good but i want to hear all the others also answer have you ever failed in life when i say fail in life it doesn't mean like complete not not a not love failure kind of stuff no 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 i'm talking about any failure any failure maybe like i said maybe an exam uh it may be a game maybe a business you're starting it, it could not run properly maybe in trying to convince somebody and it was not happening properly uh maybe a decision you were making and it was not according to the way you thought it would be something or maybe you 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 could not make friends with somebody you lost a friend some kind of failure in life i want to see oh my god yes there are a lot of people i lot i failed many times savitri thank you so much for being so specific right yes all of us did All of us, even I done. I've, I've, 
I failed countless number of times, and I failed countless number of times, and I've been vexed with it. Even today, sometimes when I look at small things, and the smaller thing I fail, I sometimes get vexed. But I want to ask you a question: Have you failed in life like these people, like them, like the first person, Abraham Lincoln? How many of you know? I mean, most of you should know Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was one of the presidents of the United States of America. Okay. However, he was in the army, and he was a captain. Now he went for war. By the time he came back, he became a normal soldier, which is he was. He got. He went to the position of a private. So he was a captain, but he came back to a private. They demoted him during the war. During the war, he was demoted. Can you believe that? And not just that, he started close to two or three businesses. It 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 went for a loss. He he went bankrupt, and not just that. He stood in elections for more than twenty times, and he failed. He failed more than twenty times, and guess what? Later, he becomes the president of the United States of America. Boy, I think we are a lot better than than looking at you know you know your chaga you know number number one again apu. You get what I'm saying? Let's take a look at another person, Michael Jordan. Those of you who are into sports, you will know this person. Right, he was it's in India. If it's Sachin Tendulkar, in US, it's Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was considered one of the best basketball players of all time. Yet, yet he was a mega failure. He lost many a times. He was he was not taken into teams. He was he he lost during matches. In fact, he was he went through therapy at times in order to go through you know a lot of to to come out of a lot of things. So Michael Jordan had to fail. He failed several times, but. Somehow he made it back, and today he's considered the most valuable player of one of in in history. You can't beat him. It's it's like that. This is one of my favorites. It's not that I'm voting for this particular party, but she has been one of my favorites. I'll tell you why. I don't know if you watched the series or if you read about her story, right? She went through the biggest, biggest failures and insults in our lifetime. Many times, and it was it was very very sad to see this particular person, that is Miss Jai Lalita, go through hell. And you know who she was after that? She became the CM. That's called achieving. Yeah. What does it take? I'll tell you the secret of what it takes. But remember this person whenever you fail. Okay. Yes, Steven Spielberg. I don't know how many of you have, but you would have. You would have seen this person's movie called Jurassic Park. Yes, not just Jurassic Park. There are tons of movie what Steven Spielberg made, and you know what happened to Steven Spielberg when he was in the theaters, when he was acting and he was going through courses. They chucked him out, saying that oh, this guy is useless. He's not. He he's not capable of making movies. That's his name. But what happened today? The world looks back at this person and says, "Your movies are masterpieces. Your movies are." Masterpieces. Yes, out to your right. She was the Iron Lady. Okay, we are moving forward. So Steven Spielberg is a masterpiece when it comes to movies. Okay, next person, Albert Einstein. Nobody can say no to this person again. Of course, a genius. But you know what he said? I failed ninety nine times, and that hundredth time is when you know I'm really really happy. The hundredth time makes me understand that. I have to go through failures in order to achieve. So Albert Einstein. Oh, this man! How many of you know? I mean, today, today he is like he's kind of the king of the world. You know, he controls so many things. He controls so many. His car, the car which he invented, the car which he came up with, Tesla. It is faster than sports cars, and it is electric. अरे ये ना यारा नहीं I'm 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 just honestly asking, Yaradi. This guy, whenever I see his achievements, in the past twelve years, he's only had twelve days off. Panand na matto na offer thega. Panand matto panand panand varshat ke he has worked so much. Elon Musk, one of the craziest men you will ever see in your lifetime. Follow him. You can go to Twitter and understand what he does. He's not just invented cars. He's invented. I mean, he's come up with rockets which can go up 
and come back and sit back again apdi vandu land aidum adu reusable rockets this guy if he says one word on twitter people go crazy so elon musk do you know how many times elon musk failed i'm looking at the chat box i'm following all you guys and i'm i'm looking at what you guys are saying so good job keep that chat going keep that that talk going this chat box should explode by the end of the day so elon musk has failed countless number of times he even cried at times he's not even got a job so so it's that bad but what happened today he is the number one influencer and the richest man in the world why i'll tell you the secret next person those of you who love your kentucky chicken here is the owner colonel sanders colonel sanders is the person who made the kfc chicken he is the one who came up with that that chicken which you eat today he was 89 years when he when he found out uh, you know kentucky fried chicken 80 89 years old ennenga apdi sadhana yes he did it because he found out something like that we are able to enjoy our kentucky so colonel sanders failed countless number of times i'll tell you a small story about him he used to go to restaurants and say i will make this chicken try it out your people will like it purchinda sollunga i'll make more for you and after that we'll take a share do you know how many restaurants has get out avaru vaisu kuda mariyada kudutanga avana ana oru oru opportunity kuda kuduthukala ana yaarume kandukala they said get out i don't need your chicken unme sollu this is the true story yes thank you so much uh, joe green thank you cristiano ronaldo is also one example sorry i didn't put his fame but you're right you're right cristiano ronaldo too is one person who failed but there's a secret to why they came up and i'll tell you what those of you who are fans of marvel movies iron man thor black panther and so forth he is the inventor or he is the person who created them not inventor he created all those amazing superheroes stan lee uh when stan lee came up with spider man people laughed at him the publisher laughed at him saying ara popa me comedy banana the popa that's what they said but what what happened today he was a millionaire after that okay and the last person whom i personally love a lot is uh, he's he's kind of my guru in terms of when it comes to presentations and public speaking and communication steve jobs the founder of apple do you know that steve jobs was kicked out from his own company when he came up with apple when he came when he discovered and when he came up with this this amazing company or called as apple they kicked him out they said we don't need you get up years later they got him back and what happened after that the hell things went crazy man we have the new we have iphone we have the best products today which no company can even match up to of course that's that's because of his his amazing orchestra you know steve jobs honestly confesses that saying he did not create anything seyra the eduthu adu onna potu kudukiradhu da avanoda idea that is steve jobs so big round of applause we all miss steve jobs okay what do they do they all fail but they never gave up okay so guys today in this session maybe you learn about effective communication maybe you learn about whatever it is i want you to learn this one lesson never give up i have 101 problems come in sometimes but the only thing is i look up to god and i don't give up i never give up i don't want you to give up you guys get it so i want you guys to say yes sir when that comes i will never give up i want you to type saying i will never give up all of you in capitals on the chat box i want you to type i will never give up if you are not going to give up and if you're going to achieve something நீங்க எல்லா அச்சீவர்ஸ் இந்த மட்டுமே டைப்ட் இந்த சாட் பாக்ஸ் ஐ வில் நெவர் கிவ் அப் ஐ வாண்ட் டு சி தட் தட் சாட் பாக்ஸ் கிராக் ஓபன் நவ் when you guys say i will never give up cuz even i'm going to say something i will never give up that's my first chat i want all of you also to go ahead and put it there saying i will never give up yes yes that's it great Yes. I want to see that chat box blow up. You know why? I want you to set your mind in such a way because a small problem comes up guys. 
you shouldn't say oh shit pochra no i will never give up that is your thought today when i go through stuff you know i sometimes become a little depressed when things don't happen my way but i have this great friend my wife who comes to me and says never give up so in a world like this as we are living guys we should learn one thing for sure we will never give up so you will never i love it wow look at that chat box explore wow 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 thank you so much guys that is beautiful those of you who are still not typed i want you to start it now put it in your head i will never give up any more i will try and i will try again i will try again until look at look at all these people who are these guys yeah you know like a special training at the moment no you know ungala mari enna mari manushanum thana they are all human beings just like you and me what did they learn in special they learned if they give up over beedu povandida just go home and do what you want you may you're going to land in depression but on a daily basis if you motivate yourself on never giving up guys you will thank me some day wow look at the chat box explored with i will never give guys when you say i never give i want this to be in your heart i want it to be in your head every time when you fall you have to get up say i will never give okay right okay that's great i mean i love it i love the chat box exploding and i see that that you know connection right now so let's move on to our session today with effective communication during interview so today you want to learn eight super points note these points down clearly okay first point is prepare second point is verbal skills third is resume and you you're going to get something free i'm going to give you all something but it depends on what and i'll tell you what that is the fourth is impression the fifth is honesty sixth listen seventh rapo and eighth is etiquette okay we will talk about each one one by one that's why there's going to be a long session and i still love the comments coming in when you say i never give up i see all 100, 240 to 50 people blowing up that chat box great job guys great job guys i'm very proud i'm very thankful and i'm so happy just don't say it keep it in your heart keep yourself reminded like i remind myself on a daily basis i will that's what i'll teach my kids and now that's what you go i'm going to tell them on that i'll tell them whatever happens don't give up don't give up don't give up on god if you're a believer if you don't got don't give your faith don't don't give up on god so whatever it is never give up okay so the first eight points is what we're going to learn and trust me if you could work on out of eight points if you can work on at least six points effectively properly i am assuring you your effective communication won't be effective communication during your interviews it will be effective everywhere you go in terms of whoever you talk to also yes okay right right guys so now let's go we're going to start i see everybody is still giving me that i will never give up it's it actually it's boosting me every time i'm looking at it i want you to say bring it on b i o bring it on b i o in the chat box if we are to go for the next and the first point which is to prepare for effective communication in interviews so type bring it on b i o in short you see what i'm doing i'm actually looking at a chat and because we are actually connecting that's what we're doing we're communicating so to effectively communicate i have to take a look at what you're saying so i'm listening to you guys so those you ready say b i o bring it on I w- i'm waiting for bring it on yes okay right okay very good good okay so let's move on to our first point so to learn prepare to learn about those eight points i first want you to understand what is communication what do you think is communication so for that i have actually made you guys a short video which i made some time ago and i want you to understand what communication is okay communication is not about only speaking in english or in tamil or any effective language communication is something here so i want you to watch this video and there you go communications i i'll be very honest with everybody out here right now. there are a lot of people who are still not aware of what communication is in fact there's a big big confusion thinking that 
communication and speaking effectively are two same things. Well, that's exactly not the thing. There might be a small line between them, but people need to know what the difference is. So guys, I'm going to show you one super example for you to understand what communication actually is. Now, for example, I want to go ahead and throw some water at you. I mean, you might ask why water? Because I don't want to throw stones or I don't want to throw sand, but I want to throw some water. So if I have to go ahead and throw some water on you, I first have to use some mediums. For example, I will have to use a monkey. A bucket of water or you need to use a pie the best way to go ahead and do it is put it in your mouth and gargle it <laughs> you can use your mouth also however all these mediums are a way to go ahead and transfer throw water on you the same thing is with communication so what is communication communication is not but the transferring of your message from one person or the other so it's from you to another person. Transfer your message from you to another person is called communication. That's how simple it is. You do these through certain mediums. First medium is, of course, through talking, like what you're doing right now. The second one is, of course, through texting or through writing. One of these could definitely help. The third thing is, of course, through sign language. You can also do all the sign languages. And of course, there are a lot more where you can go ahead and talk about it in the comments and engage with me. So guys, I hope this made it clear. This is communication. How effectively you do it becomes effective communication. So this video was actually made for a lot of people. Who are okay, right. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I hope you understood. Yes, like uh, I see Ruth uh, uh, telling me, giving information to others and getting information Communication is all about, you know, exchanging information. It can be anything. So right now I'm talking, I'm sending some information to you guys. So this is communication. You guys are sending me information through chat box. So you're texting. That's communication. Uh, and here we go. Here's a question I, I normally ask my friends. Um, wh who is the world's best communicator? Okay. Normally when I say that, a lot of people say, Oh, it's um, it's it's some you know Jeff Bezos or it's uh, it's Amitabh Bachchan. I mean, no, 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 no. Forget. It. Hold on a second. They're good. They're good orators. They know how to talk. But the best communicator, according to me, is Vadivel sir. Yeah, the comedian Vadivel is the best. I'll tell you why. You don't have to literally see him talk. All he has to do is close his mouth and look at you like that. And then he gets there. Mm -hmm, I, that, that, that expression. And you know what he's saying. Same way, Rowan Atkinson, Mr. Bean. See, most of these, com these comedians are very good communicators. So communication is not just talking. It's also texting, sign language, or maybe body language. Body language is communication. Okay, good. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And let's move on to our very first point after you know what coming here so preparation what how do you prepare now you have to prepare your if you want to do really excellent if you want to crack you want to be an awesome you know what to say a communicator during an interview you have to prepare if there's no preparation there is no use of you being an extra company this is the most primary point which i would say nobody should neglect you understand okay so what's the first point of preparing okay research okay by the way what what does it give me what does preparation give me if i prepare what does it help me with you will be confident and that's what we'll talk about you will be you'll be exceptionally confident and today i have prepared for this particular this content and that's why i am confident i've done my research i've done more more than so so many things today and that's the reason why i'm a bit confident i, I kind of love doing it today I'm not doubtful. So research. What would you research on? You research on the company. You research on the job. You research on people there. How do you do all this? You have tools. You have LinkedIn. Yeah, you, you, have, uh, you have Twitter. You have Instagram. You have so many, many platforms which will help you to do your research on the particular company. 
so always research on the company people work inna mari vela seiranga inge what what is their pay if you go to nokri or if you go to linkedin they will show you how much people get paid there so take a look at our pay there so many things you can do your research on because if you do the research it will make you understand whether you need that job or not it will make you understand whether you need you you're ready to work there or not are you are you prepared to work there or not and the and the hopes could occur because i remember when i was one of the companies i didn't do my research really well so i went join but after a while i understood oh boy this is not the right company i actually need you see you made a mistake there okay next point when you have an interview nowadays guys interviews happen online right i hope all of you are aware that interviews are happening online okay so one explain the okay i'm just going to read a few comment uh it's a very funny thank you so much i mean i think there's a delay in me getting the chats so i'm sorry i'm just reading the comments now thank you so much for those who enjoyed the video right now what is happening is everything is moving online like i said the, the digital age is coming for coming front it's coming forward and if you are going to try and win you have to get used to the digital platform you need to know how to use your platforms you need to know how do you get name from using these platforms adunala understand that when you go for an interview online check your tech check your laptop check your i mean check your uh, system check if everything is fine check your camera which is the most important part sometimes you know i i'm, I'm sure most of you are looking at me right now you are able to see my face you are able to see me you know this shot but whenever i see people when i interview them i can only see their their forehead i can only see their chin <laughs> some of them will be worse some of them will only show me their nose <laughs> what will you think what will your interviewer think of you if you see this is why it's called preparation you must prepare okay right next one now one of the best ways to to be a super duper communicator is when you are doing your first round with your hr purida unga first round ning hr oda erkanave ninga avangaloda pesumbodhu try to get more information from your hr when you're talking to your hr like your hr is talking to you about and uh, you, you know you want to know more information ask your hr ask the hr so what does what do what do we do here in this company uh, sir or ma'am how are the people ma'am what is the culture ma'am see these are questions you can note down what kind of culture do we have ma'am adavadhu ipo na inga vela seyrana enakku will i feel happy ma'am thappe illa indha mari kekkaradha na irundha kekpen definitely kekpen you need you're going to work you're going to enjoy the place right so you're going to crack the interview right so you need to know more okay so i would ask about people so ipo next round is going to be with a manager uh may i know uh, who am i going to talk to ma'am or may i know who am i going to talk to sir can i know more about this person is it okay uh has you know how do i have to talk you can also ask the hr saying how do i answer ma'am how do i go ahead and talk to this person hr will be happy enough to tell you they won't say hey adala kekkura don't ask me all that how dare you abdilla yaro pes matan nobody will talk like that right nobody will talk like that so go ahead and just say be honest with your hr the hr will definitely give you a lot of tips and pointers to help you to win this particular place you want so that doesn't mean they are doing something wrong no they are only helping you to understand because that is where your interest comes in you see when you start asking more questions your hr will understand okay this person is interested and not just that you are interested because you are interested you are asking those questions correct ah okay right next point all the three points research checking your tech and asking hr leads to one big 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 point and that is building confidence guys if you don't have if you're not confident guys forget it you're not going to get the interview you're not going to get a place there if you want a place i i select i mean to, till date i've interviewed close to around 3000 people in my life excuse me i'm being very honest i've selected tons and tons of people and i reject people who don't have confidence because if you don't have confidence and if i take you tomorrow i would doubt whether you would even stay you would you would earn it because if you're so nervous you're not going to really so build confidence how do you do it 
work on those first three areas you will build confidence automatically okay now there are two ways of looking at this one hard skills soft skills render when you go for an interview you have tech skills you have soft skills tech skills is more like hard hard skills people will ask you questions based on whatever you know for example if you're going uh, you're a software engineer suppose and you want to go for a, an it related job of course they will ask you questions based on your programming language the way you call the type so they would not ask you based on how good are you at working with a team that is soft skill but when you ask about your programming language that is easy you can talk about your programming like that's up to you because i'm not a programmer of course but i'm saying if you know about programming you need so if somebody asks me to talk about excel and powerpoints i don't mind talking but confident how confident you are is what matters it's like karna saying confidence yeah that's the same confidence okay you need to be really confident and that starts with preparation always okay right so uh remember if you have any question answers we'll do all the question answers at the end i want you to make a note of all of this uh both of your questions and make sure you go ahead and let us know by the end of the session moving on to the next point <clears throat> verbal skills okay so there are two types non verbal and verbal skills we will talk about non verbal so all this what i'm talking about is non verbal right now but verbal i've taken a separate area here right now and we're going to talk about why verbal skills are important okay the first point here i'm going to talk about is learn common sentences hi sir how are you doing hi ma'am how are you doing hi ma'am i hope everything is good over here hi sir i hope everything is going fine here um i i look i love the organization i've seen the 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 organization right now it's very pleasant common sentences to keep yourself occupied and to communicate more with the person or your interviewer how long is this organization being going for uh, did did you guys revamp anything new so i'm just saying some common sentences like which will help you keep the uh, the conversation going yeah you cannot see the an interview is not a one way communication no it's communication two ways so your interview will ask you questions but at the same time you also need to and that's why i'm saying learn common sentences right now because i told you learn common sentences don't go to the extreme <laughs> don't go to the extreme i'm saying hi sir how are you uh, are you married don't you don't ask the the question are you married how many children do you have uh, is your wife working no <laughs> not those type of questions okay your interviewer can ask you those questions but make sure you don't ask these question and then blame or oh, i remember robin rex teaching us learn common sentences now that's not what i'm trying to say i'm trying to say make sure your questions which you learn help you to communicate with people your cause your 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 interview can say i had i sorry did you have lunch oh yes i had lunch thank you so much i hope you had lunch reply common sentence okay right uh right okay moving forward again moving to the next one is construct simple sentences learn common sentences is different from constructing common sentences or simple sentences when you are in an interview somebody says can you tell me more about uh how you would be in the next 5 years or can you tell me about what what is your position in the next 5 years don't complicate stuff those of you are looking to speak effectively here's your magic tell your interviewer uh sir ma'am is it okay you know I, i'm i'm just going to think a little bit so i want to give you simple way think and answer simple sentences correct like, well i'd like to go ahead and become a manager first sentence moon i'd like to help my teams achieve a lot of targets to simple sentence done uh, i'm looking to learn more from many other team leaders three see this is the way you need to talk so sentence by sentence and go dead slow if you rush thinking that my oh you the interviewer inna nadichu porar you will lose you will you will blabber you will give unnecessary things and you will fail calm down calm down calm down okay right okay moving forward 
this is one of my favorite no one word answers okay your answer should be clear but no one word answers when i say no one word answers when i say uh if somebody asks you you say at uh, chennai correct for that you can say yes or no that is understandable okay but if someone says uh can you tell me more about yourself um i worked in uh, in uh, pizza hut that doesn't make sense okay answering in one word is a lot dangerous because i am i have had that problem where when i ask people to go ahead and answer people go ahead and, and and they don't answer they give me one word and i reject them i'm supposed to tell them can you please speak a little bit see that is a problem you need to speak a little bit so you have to talk when somebody says okay next thing when somebody says do you live in chennai in chennai yes or no don't go ahead and mistake what i'm saying right now start saying like oh, i live in this chennai it's an amazing place it's this beautiful place uh, we have hot summers and cold winters uh, you know it has this great great uh, you know, uh, you know uh, beach and i love it. don't explain things like that that doesn't make sense <laughs> okay what i'm trying to say is use one word answers wherever necessary speak out speak out your heart whenever it is necessary okay all right right moving on accent hey thanks yes since you were you know also on the lines with uh, you know introduce your yourself there is a student and you know the student asks this question saying how can we introduce ourselves and you know yes i'm coming to that i'm coming to that that is that is a highlight of this entire topic i'm going to talk about how you can introduce i can see mark patel say how can we introduce yourself in college on first day i mean about which part of our life don't worry i will definitely touch base on that we are still not come there i don't want to ruin that that surprise for you guys but i will tell you how it is and i'll tell you how funny also it is okay don't worry so stay there mark don't go away <laughs> okay yuki is that okay perfectly fine right yeah, okay right so talking about accent uh if you look at me i we speaking with an accent now this is not some high class accent this is called as a neutral accent in india if you're going to face an interview accent is not that important but if you're moving on to a call center an international call center accent does matter a little bit yes people will train you there but accent does matter but however if you're moving on to uh, any other jobs for that matter accent is not important but accent adds an additional advantage accent is a very good advantage if you learn today i train people on accent i do trainings for a few managers who in banks who say i want to learn a few i want to learn how to talk with an accent i want to learn how to sound a neutral accent so i i we actually train them so accent is important try to learn an accent if possible guys if you can speak with a neutral accent nothing like it nothing like it okay right so accent kattukonga எப்படி கத்துக்கணுமோ யூ ஹாவ் அ லாட் ஆஃப் வேஸ் ஆஃப் லேர்னிங் இட் யூ ஆர் இன்டர்நெட் வில் டாக் அபவுட் தட் இன் த ஃபியூச்சர் பட் ஜஸ்ட் அனதர் ஆப்ஷன் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் கம்யூனிகேஷன் ड्यूरिंग இன்டர்வியூஸ் அண்ட் தி லாஸ்ட் பாயிண்ட் இஸ் மை ஃபேவரட் பாயிண்ட் லேங்குவேஜ் இப்போ வந்து ஒரு இன்டர்வியூ போறது ரைட் मोस्ट ஆஃப் தேம் வாண்ட் யூ டு ஸ்பீக் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் கரெக்ட் and most of us get rejected because of english we don't know oh my goodness we're getting rejected because what do we do simple learn the language you don't have to sound like shakespeare like you don't have to be that good in english there ye illa all you have to do is be 80% good at english so right now i am i'm close to around 80% you can be maybe 70 80% no problem at all but are you working are you are you making an effort to speak in in english or are you saying ara vena tamil en moli tamil vaaga are you are you saying naan tamilan va yasar body la da porna but is that is is it stopping me from learning english english is important guys so those of you who are saying no i am really not i'm not i'm sorry somebody is saying i'm not i'm not audible hey paul i hope i'm audible now so those of you say, i'm okay yeah absolutely all right awesome right let's move on so those of you are saying illa yana english i am sorry my friend i am sorry my brothers and sisters you have to go ahead and learn english there's no choice because the world is moving forward like that you have to change 
இது அவ்வளவு ராக்கெட் சயின்ஸ் எல்லாம் கிடையாது இங்கிலீஷ் அவ்வளவு பெரிய அதோ ஒரு மொழி தான் இட்ஸ் அ லாங்குவேஜ் லேர்ன் இட் you have so many so many ways and i'll tell you how to learn it here but internet the in- thank god for the internet there are bad ways and good ways use the b- good ways always so the internet is like i feel like it's the best thing which has happened to mankind it has all the answers what is not there english kadama english ina nee vandu i'm very sure you learn how to speak like a british i'm sure you learn you speak like an american it's the but are you making that that move seri na seiya poren i will never give up seringla that is the point i never learned this accent as soon as i was born right na as i said i was born vyasapadi my my dad is a tamil medium student my mother studied at uh, i think in in roypuram no none of us really knew english really well i'm 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 sorry but how did i learn it because i made that move and thank god i thank my parents here and there they taught me of course but i made that move all of us should make that move okay so guys till now if you guys are following if you're saying yes you've been following till now put that in the comment saying i follow put that in the i will clear all your doubts at the end we'll have a question and answer session you do not have to worry i will clear everything even if it takes to, till night today 9 o'clock 10 o'clock it's okay no problem i will clear everything before you guys go to bed but right now are you following put that in the comment saying i follow i'm going to wait for that i follow let me see learn and implement thank you so much yes i see some good comments man you guys are very uh, realistic here you're having that communication and that and that conversation going the chat box is actually filled with so many comments i'm so happy to see these comments and i hope you're learning so i follow uh black art creations nidhi has said what are the certificates we need to have to attend a job interview why do you need a certificate for what is the certificate going to help you with certificates are good because you've learned something right but to attend an interview you need skill and that's what you're going through right now effective communication is a skill good keep putting that i follow if you follow only if you follow and you follow till now i follow keep doing that i want to see more comments 260 how many how many people i don't know how many of them are there right now you keep maybe you can give me a count of the number of people but i want to see the number of people say i follow awesome okay right let's move on to our next slide which is creating an impression hey guys if you want to achieve and if you want your communication to be super duper you know creating an impression also is a part of effective communication right like for example i'm going to ask you a simple question now and i want you to be honest okay how many of you have been thinking right now that i have been creating an impression in you say i do how many of you think i have created an impression on on all of you guys put that in the comment box saying i do let me see i have to talk tomorrow on air pollution <laughs> awesome ravi all the best i see you have to talk about air pollution tomorrow keep these points in mind i'll tell you some awesome points at the end follow them and you will get to it you'll you'll be awesome when it comes to air pollution i'm, I'm honestly speaking okay those of you who think i have created an impression say i do i want to see that i do only if i have created an impression and if you think no you're not created an impression no problem i will still create it by the end because i will never give up all right thank you so much thank you the creator thank you helps about thank you jan sirani thank you jamima uh jamima thank you deepika savit thank you so much deepika thank you janani mark padel thank you shrikant subhashri subhashri hari priya ru deepa ravi thank you so much thank you so much very nice so i have created an impression why because i'm effectively communicating so you have to have that in mind you have to create an impression not a fake impression ye matra mari irukuda adala okay it should be real it should be a real impression 
I do care about all of you guys today. Those those 200 and 300 people in the queue. I do care about all. I want you all to be an achiever. I want all of you to be, uh, you know, people who never give up. Yes, I'm. I'm not looking at. I want everyone over here. Those to become another Elon Musk or Stephen. But I want someone to be better than that. It's in the mind. It's in your. It's your mindset. It's your heart which tells you don't give up. That is the mindset. Okay. So how do you create impression? So first off, I want to tell you what do you do to make that impression set right. Okay. Here we go. You never interrupt. Oh wow! Thank you so much. Just so many people who have been accepting. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for uh, this love. Thank you so much for this this honesty in your answers. Good. So don't interrupt. The first thing is never, ever interrupt. Yeah, what what interview la? La pesa ang na. So abdi na erto pariyom ade. Takin oran na. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abdi na interrupt panda the tap. You should never interrupt. If you want to say something, wait for the interviewer to finish, and then say, "I'm sorry, ma'am. Can I say this? I missed it. I'm sorry, sir. Can I say this? I missed it." You can say that. I'm sorry, ma'am. I I forgot to tell you, but I want to say this. Boom! They will be happy. They will be like, "Did I even say this solo?" They won't say, "Tell me, tell me." I'm not allowed. I don't want. Miss Pandela, Kalambu. No interviewers will talk like that. They will love when you go ahead. And and guys, I'll be very honest. Being an interviewer is not easy. Are the overall work work? Who do me? I need to tell you, ma'am. You have to see people day in and day out. and imagine people making the their their interviews boring who makes the interview interviews interesting you guys not the interviewer interview will ask you questions of course who will make it interesting you guys and that's why it's important to make an effective communicating interview that's why people will love your interview the interview will love to sit with you and ask you more question and understand you so learn to effectively communicate and i'm telling you guys you will succeed one day you will come back and thank me for this you will thank mo and my os for this so remember that okay here yeah, right so never interrupt what do you do to interrupt for money and the, you'll have that urge to say it what do you do to interrupt shut up that's it say that formula to yourself shut up robin shut up robin sumar pesa say it in your mind and you will not interrupt a lot of people have it when you know when when my wife sometimes talks i'm i'm i interrupt and you know what happens she gets upset you're like let me talk How many of you have that issue? Most of you would have it. All of us should have have it. When you interrupt, people hate it. When you're going for an interview, also never interrupt. Okay, good, right? Thank you so much for all the ideas. I see the ideas still coming in. And next point, when you want to say an awesome impression, talk good things about your friends. Talk good things about your ex colleagues. Talk good things about the interview itself. Tell them. Tell them. Don't don't flatter. அதோட பட்டர் வேண்டாம் ஜாம் வேண்டாம் சரியா ஐஸ் இருக்குது கிடையாதுங்க இப்ப அவங்க பத்தி ஒரு சொல்றீங்களா மேம் थैंक यू so much for the interview thank you so much for the opportunity ma'am ரொம்ப நன்றி you can say that nothing wrong you can talk good things about your ana if you talk negative things about your friends if you talk negative things about your past company or your employees you will never you will you will fail guys you will fail i'm sorry you should never do that talk positive things about them and make it a habit make it a habit i used to be like that i used to talk a lot of negative things about my friends i met my my colleagues such a negative person that's when i i felt that's when you know i was i was crap that's why i never grew i learned nothing i was i was completely useless but when i changed my mindset never do it next, next time take you take the blame and always keep it in a positive area i moved up in no time i moved up top 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 so what would you do talk positive about people even in this in this chat box when you see a lot of people commenting right now always appreciate the next person in terms of saying nice one i like it i like that comment i appreciate it that's very nice so helpful comments so that's why i'm appreciating you guys you guys are doing a great job so uh right okay so moving on to the next point If you have this habit, if somebody says something and Roma tena vada, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. the imp the impression would be cut off. If an interviewer is actually sharing something, saying over here you will like I'm saying uh, let's say I'm the interviewer and over here you will have to 
you know you'll have to do a lot of smart work yeah 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 i know 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 i heard about i know if you do that <laughs> your interview is going to hate you so don't do that okay avoid the attitude of saying yes i know interruption speaking bad avoid all these things guys you'll build awesome impressions with your interviewer and you'll all, you will win see that impression you said uh, i i don't believe I, i'm being very honest here sorry if some of you for follow this but i do not believe that first impression is the best impression in my life i have failed in this first impression is the best impression people have literally seen me and like oh man you're not fit but when i start setting that impression on a daily basis when i continue they get back they're like wow this is good i like this guy they want to work with you prida so if you fail in your first impression said don't give up purida ellarkum purida oru vaati ulundittu en feel pandradhu edhume illa inge this is this is life okay you will do it the next thing the next point is nervousness like i said nervousness comes when you are not prepared and if you don't prepare forget you will be nervous i have rejected no numerous people because they were nervous so i will give them some time and say i'll give you close to 2 hours go relax that relax is why to prepare so go ahead to us take your time and meet me after 2 hours after 2 hours i'll still reject them because they would not have come out of nervousness guys if you want to work on your nervousness start preparing from today let it be anything for that matter start preparing okay Right guys good let's move on to our next point honesty and look look at the comment box as i'm moving on right so many of you follow thank you guys it's really nice to see so many of you reply okay honesty interview la honesty a irukano honest ah irukano unmaya va pesno yes yes you have to talk if you are honest maybe you might not know the skill maybe you might not know how to even type whatever it is but when people look at your honest level they will say oh boy i need someone like this they will even take the time to train you parvala na train panikiravana ana honest aagravana evano vidamaatan you know why people want honest people that's why you'll be you'll do your job really well you will not cheat you will be so honest so be honest not only for the interview throughout your life try to do that it's 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 a good practice i try to be honest of course not saying that i'm i'm on golmal i'm kidding i'm a dad <laughs> i have three children so every time when they ask me for chocolate i tell them naaliki vaangi thare i'll get you tomorrow tomorrow is gone <laughs> so what does honesty do first off if you want to be honest talk about your strengths if you want to talk about like i'm going to talk about my strength so uh i love to go ahead and spend time with family i love experiencing and doing a lot of new things that is my strength i i want people to learn a lot and i want them to understand that you know learning is the next thing which you will need in life uh because if you don't learn you cannot achieve things so i want to learn, i want to make people learn so these are my strengths i will share my strengths at the same time you also must learn how to share your weakness you know why A lot of people won't share their weakness. They say, "Don't share your weakness. Don't put your weaknesses in your resume." Other understood. You don't have to type your your uh, weaknesses on your resume. That is wrong. But you can share it with people. Like for example, my weakness is uh, I sometimes have the problem of procrastinating. Procrastinating, na procrastinating, na tali vekerde. Sometimes I have the issue of uh, procrastinating. I'm not able to do it in a specific time. So at times I am very weak at that. So that is one of my weakness. Being honest. When you are honest, people will have that connect, and they'll be like, "Wow, this guy is actually saying things." And the next thing is, whenever you are speaking about weaknesses, guys, always say, "I am working on it." If you are honestly working on, it. like for example, I have procrastination. Now when the people wonder, "Chala, you do this, you do that," you are. I am working on it. I want to make sure I build a particular thing so that I will not make sure I fall. I want to build a better uh, way of doing things. Okay, sorry guys. So that is honesty. When you want to build good honesty, speak about your strengths. 
speak about your weaknesses open up pesunga if your interview does not ask you for those questions that's okay you don't have to voluntarily say uh, excuse me ma'am can i talk about my strengths no doesn't make sense but if somebody is expecting you to speak about strength talk about your weakness also okay right okay next one this is super important when somebody says can you tell me about um, what happened i mean did you see the news yesterday uh, they were speaking about the covid cases you know it is high the some of them would take it up to the next level they wouldn't have seen the tv also but the, yes yes i saw close to a lot of people you know uh, uh, many of them maybe a lot of uh, crores of people are affected your interview will will understand your lying tapp no when you don't know something say i don't know be honest saying i'm sorry ma'am i'm sorry sir i i'm not familiar with this and i don't know but i don't mind learning it i would like to learn i would like to know more so if you don't mind can you give me some time so that i can learn and get back what is much you can say that your interviewers will not say no 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 you don't know un kada kandalra nobody would speak like that they would never do that if you don't know something say i don't know but that doesn't mean you should say i don't know for everything where do you say i don't know sir what is your name i don't know sir do you know excel i don't know sir no that is wrong <laughs> that is wrong you have to be knowing certain things and there are certain things you might not know and if you don't know sorry if you don't know say i don't know okay right and be honest be be humble be honest enough saying i'm sorry i don't know but i don't mind learning it i don't mind learning and get back uh, getting back to you right now so thank you so much that's how you do it okay the next point the last point for how you can build that honesty in you is may i take my time 400 plus 250 plus 9000 into uh, 560 into 1800 is equal to 4 lakh 56000 you're wrong please get out no is it okay if i can take some time i don't mind i'll work it out and i'll let you know whenever you have a doubt whenever you don't know the answer you want to think always ask them some time tell them i'm sorry i'm sorry sir i'm sorry ma'am is it okay if you can give me some time can i think can you give me maybe close to 5 minutes i i'll think and let you know avula da mudichu pochu unga interview enna saapru apora ungala yaaro edha panna they will be kind enough to tell you please anje nimsham 10 nimsham ay eduthukom nobody is going to go and harm you there okay right so i hope you guys are your guys are following me till honestly we have still a few more points and i have a surprise at the end which you guys are going to be really really happy with i'm i'm honestly telling you some of you are going to see this and be like what are you serious i am going to give you a surprise at the end and uh, you will actually love that surprise because it's something it's upcoming in the next few years so that is the future okay so i'll tell you what that is but till now if you have been following please type i follow in your comment box make sure you type i follow till now whatever you followed you are attentive and you've been listening go on type i follow Okay so somebody asked me a question I'm going to I'm going to by the time you guys are uh, typing I follow and you feel followed um uh, I see that one of you have asked me saying is bcom enough to get a job in IT so you studied commerce and you're looking at a IT professional or you want to be an IT professional which is either it can be infrastructure or software development whatever for that matter if you're getting into a, such a line it is possible only if you can pursue what is required accordingly yeah if you have that experience or if you pursued any kind of courses like if you done any courses according to that 
you can take that and show to your interviewer saying i have done bcom but i'm so interested in it that i studied for it i've done some courses i have some experience and i want to go ahead and pursue that i want to go ahead and and uh, you know grow in that career you can say that you can say that definitely work it will work definitely yes yeah. so i see a lot of people saying i follow thank you guys that's good that's good right let's move on to the next point right okay right okay so moving on moving on listening skills all right so it's the time is 4:25 4:23 here on my watch and uh, we actually started at 3:5 and we are actually going good it's almost one of our we didn't even know it's one of our it's so fast wow where's my apple juice <laughs> guys listening uh, i've rejected close to 100 people in my life i'll be very approximate here because people have not listened to what i've said anything i've said sometimes they don't listen i remember once this is very funny i said uh, which college do you come from even though it's in his resume which college have you studied in and the person kept saying sir my name is ramesh i have 2 uh, years of experience you see this happens when you don't listen common things so listening first off you listen properly i'm going to ask you something here what do you think is the difference between hearing and listening hearing and listening okay i don't think you'll be able to chat, put that in the chat box because you'll have to type something but if you know the answer you can type i know in the meantime i'm going to tell people what the difference between listen and hear is now i am talking to you as i am talking i am able to hear the sound from the fan hearing is not paying good attention to it's like your background it just goes inside like that okay but listening ortavanga eda solranga na adha gavanama kekkuradhu dhaan listening so something which when i'm talking to you and i'm listening to it i am able to to get it inside my head and digest and say what is the meaning of it in the listening in pair hearing vandi ipo veliya or kaaga kadhu da adu hearing i am able to hear it as i'm talking over here uh i have a small fan over here now when this fan is making that noise i'm able to hear that i'm not listening to that sound i'm hearing it okay right okay cool so i follow i know a lot of people saying i know good very good if you know the hear doesn't listening so when you are in an interview don't hear don't hear i want you to listen bit by bit now sometimes when you listen you see there's something called comprehension comprehension what a meaning in ana purinjikirathu understanding when somebody says something to you you understanding that is called as comprehension when you listen you will comprehend ninga oru vaati oru thara kettingna kaaduttu kettingna adha ungalku puriyum but if you hear you will not listen i'm sorry you will not comprehend if you hear someone you will not comprehend now here's my thing if you listen to somebody if you're listening to your interviewer and as your interviewer is asking your question and if you are not able to comprehend adha adu purinjika mudiyala na kodo what are you going to do what are you going to do my simple way of doing things is i would ask them one simple way of is it okay if you can repeat the question i'm sorry i i didn't compre i didn't understand you know what is solo mode if you know what you can come i'm sorry could you please ask me once again whatever language your interviewer is talking it please make sure you communicate in the same language guys don't jump to tamil or english because that will break their you know the understanding as to okay this person doesn't know english see if the company is in requirement for a language you will have to learn that language there are some on english sorry okay vittu thalle but if a company says you must know english you must know english okay right okay so if so, if you didn't understand the question simple just ask sorry can you please repeat the question is it okay if you can repeat the question i i didn't understand can you please let me know what can you 
tell me what what it is again ask them again nothing wrong but if you do it two or three times again and again that shows you are not focused and engaged okay right so guys always understand that we have to focus and we'll have to be engaged right okay so moving on to our next point before we move on to the next point guys um i think we might not have time for this but maybe next time we will play this video right now okay next is building repo now we'll have to hurry up here guys so i'm going to show you some points here repo mini ana therima uh yuki yes as discussed we'll do that i'm sorry i am not able to chat right now that's the reason okay guys building repo is nothing but a relationship thank you yeah. okay okay so building a repo is nothing but building a relationship that is business relationship purinjikirathu rendu perum so in order to build repo you must first increase your impression <coughs> remember we were actually talking about impression that is the impression you need to build that impression conversation build panunga ortha vandu if somebody is talking to you make sure you talk back again talk ask more questions ask them about more about the company ask them what you would want to learn from this company ask them more questions and keep listening to them also keep listening don't forget you have to listen no matter what because your interviewer is listening to you so that's how you build rapport okay right and the last one is etiquette etiquette meaning another mass manners okay so etiquette is manners and i want you guys to understand manners is very very important when you are in an interview what are simple manners smile i want you guys to learn how to smile okay courteous courteous na na being kind now you might not have to ha you might not have to hand handshake with people because you are doing an online session you are doing an online interview but still smile smile be kind talk kind words thank you so much uh, i beg your pardon i'm sorry please these are words so learn this quick word and the last one guys i want you guys to understand this feedback you should ask your interview for feedback either marakariye please i want you guys to ask your your your, your interview sir ma'am is there any feedback you can give me can you please give me some feedback so that i can work on it that will build great rapport okay guys so these are the three important uh, etiquette i want you guys to follow when you start attending an interview okay now here's the surprise resume i'm sure all of you would have seen some very bad resumes right now overloading with resumes right but when i go for an interview right this is how i carry my resumes okay i'm going to show you my resume right now and uh, here we go resume okay this is how i carry my resume how many of you have actually carried resumes like a word document you overload it with stuff but this is how i carry my resume see simple now how many of you feel that this is so attractive if you feel attractive put it attractive how many of you say that this is really really attractive yeah so if you guys are feeling this is attractive i have a template which you can design your own resume to which i can go ahead and give it to you guys i will make sure i put it in the uh, in the section below so you you can coordinate you know you you can reach to can help you guys get this template and you can design your resume trust me with this resume when you give it to people they will be so happy in fact you can share it in the digital format with people you don't have to send tons and tons of word document it will be bugging people will be like you are not at all interesting but if you design something like this people will love it okay so if you want this resume i want you to type in the chat box i want it if you really want this resume if you want the format i want you guys to type it in the chat box i want it i want to see how many of you really want this resume Let's see how many of you guys are are wanting this resume. I want to see how many of you guys really want it. Let's see if if I mean it depends on the strength of people who are saying who really want it. If you really want it, put it there, and I'll be happy with it. Yeah. <laughs> 
really wanted. Let's see. Right, I don't see too many I wanted. How many of you really wanted? I want to see that. Okay, fine, right. So great guys so most of you have really asked for it i'm going to put that there don't worry uh, maybe you krista will help you to get the resume i will forward it to her and all of you guys can get a copy of it you can design it and you can save it in the pdf format so you can use it anywhere and everywhere you go you can forward it from your phone it'll be so it, it look very attractive right okay so guys i hope you enjoyed the session if you did enjoy the session make sure you drop in a comment there saying yes I did, and uh, we will move on to the question and answer session right now. Okay, Yogi, okay, off to you. Hey, Rex. Hey, Yogi, off to you, man. I'll take it. It's all yours. Right. Not a problem. So, quickly, we're going to open the window uh, to, you know, type in your queries and, yeah. We have a you know um, resource speaker Rex to help you with answers. The next five more minutes, we're gonna keep the window open for you. So by the time they are typing in their answers, so Rex, I want to, you know, extend uh, big thanks to you on behalf of uh, my OSN, on behalf of all the colleges and the students who participated today. You've been kind. You've been amazing. Thank you. You've been realistic, you know, the most importantly. And uh, everybody were able to, you know, connect instantly and relate and, you know, follow you. Thank, yeah. thank you big time. Uh, so Yuki, I'm sorry to cut you off. I, I forgot to tell you about this. Somebody was asking me about how they could introduce themselves on the first day, right? Uh, yeah, the person who's listening, right? That's right, Mark Patel. Right, Mark Patel. Here you go, Mark. This is your answer. First off, when somebody says, tell me about yourself, okay? Never start by saying, myself, Mark Patel. I am Mark Patel. That is the most stupidest thing in anybody because it's in your resume. You are going to de design... A beautiful resume moving forward. Why do you need to tell people I am myself? No, you start off by talking about your strengths. If you want to tell people about who you are, you start off by talking about your strengths. So if you want to introduce yourself on on the on in college on the first day, tell them about your 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 your, your I'm sorry your strengths your weaknesses. It's okay, nothing wrong. If they don't know your name, then start by saying, but never say myself, Mark Patel, myself, Robinson Riggs, myself, you, Krishna. That is wrong. Hey, I am. Hey, I'm Robin. Hey, I'm Yuki. Hey, I'm, I'm Mark. That's it. Done. That's more stylish. That's more effective. Right, Mark? I hope that answers your question because there are a few more questions coming up. Somebody had asked me how to work on your communication skills. Working on your communication skills is this. You have to spend some time on a daily basis by understanding how you talk effectively first. If you're looking at communication skills, it, I think the person answering this is, how do you speak effectively in English? So for that, you need to first learn the language and then work on your body language, your facial expression, your, your hands, you, you know, the way you talk, your accent. This is effectively communicating. So first, if you want to learn how to talk with, in English first, learn English. But if you're actually good at English, then start working on the remaining tips, which I just told you today. Uh, if you, you watch the video again and you will still learn everything else. Okay, good. Uh, how can we find out a work that matches? Okay, how can we find out if you, your work actually matches? A hey, great question. Okay, now this, we never train based on that. That's not based on effective, but I'm still going to give it to you right now. Uh, I'll, uh, you know, I'll charge you extra for that. No, I'm kidding. So what we'll do is, if you want to find what work you're actually good at, it's called as finding your niche. Finding your niche. You need to know what you're good at, what you're interested in. Are you good at talking? Are you good at playing? Are you good at teaching? Um, are, are you good at inventing? 
something you need to find out what your niche is so after you find, are you good at recording videos are you good at youtube so so many things you should start looking at what is your like and then from there pick up that niche and work on it yeah to learn that guys i'm sorry i can't explain more but you can always find all that in youtube just type how do i find my niche n i c h e niche okay i'm going to put that there how do i find my niche okay next one if i'm having more than 15 to 16 years of experiment experience can you put that in the resume in one page with short yeah of course of course you can of course you, you are, if you have i'm sorry guys just a second if you have 15 to 16 years of experience the resume is not for people to understand who you are no the resume is to just show a brief about who you are the interview is someone which shows who you are that is where you're going to talk ninga pesa poradhu vandu interview la appo da ungala mulusa purinjikka poranga unga interview la podina yaaram padichi kuda paakamaana you think the hr will take in time to read all of that about what you done nobody would spend time how how would they even, you should be brief in your resume but who you are will be spoken during the interview so that 15 years of experience explain it on the phone or face to face good all right whoever asked that question good job if a interviewer asks us about salary then ah that is a beautiful question many many people ask me saying sir what is my salary sir that is wrong never ask your interviewer how much is your salary ask your hr go to your hr after the first round you did your round go to your hr and talk to them about the salary tell them ma'am is it okay if i can know what my salary is boom right okay uh uh but the question is the interview ask uh, about the salary then okay so it depends on what research you have done remember i spoke about preparation you must go to linkedin or many other sites type your 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 experience and find out what you are good at and how much you are you will be receiving as your salary based on that you need to talk you can tell your hr sorry i did my research and i said that i'm capable for so much and so much per year so if you it will be nice if you can maybe help me with that package i'll be very happy and i'll be loyal to this particular organization finished over and a story mark again one more question my question was about how to introduce for 2 to 3 minutes in a class not an interview as if we are told to talk about phrase or part okay all right so in 2 to 3 minutes that is called as an elevator pitch okay something very quick so you be like hey my name is mark uh, i've been working here in this particular organization or i i'm studying here in this particular organization for so many years i actually love to dance i like i like to cook and uh, my family's background is so and so and i would love to go ahead and have a great time in this organization with you guys i hope you guys enjoy my companionship be finished that's it two minutes and you know if you're talking about brief then you need to learn what the elevator pitch is so guys just make sure you type what elevator pitch is on in uh, in uh, youtube and you will get to see what it is all right okay cool i hope i answered my question mark uh from hey, internet um yeah i kind of lost you right uh are you able to hear me now yuki are you able to hear me Hey Yuki, are you are you able to hear me now? Yuki, are you able to hear me? Dana Shaker.
ओके ओके Hey Rex, I'm back. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Pretty good. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I got disconnected. That's okay. Yeah. Well, I think we're done answering most of the questions here. Um, and, and, uh, so some some uh, some of you guys are asking questions based out of um, uh, effective communication, which we won't be able to share right now. But it's okay, no problem. Some one of you have have, have asked me, how do you make training more interesting? um again <laughs> it's something out of uh, the context but nevertheless we'll do that some other time okay guys okay, so yeah. see you tomorrow right i think i'm done thank you so much um, uh, uk it was a great experience and an opportunity right indeed our pleasure rex thank you very much for being kind and for you know uh, for all the prompt responses with deep insights romba periya nandri or periya nandri will have to definitely extend to our the most you know interactive uh, audience they you know they ensured that the you know energy was maintained and lit throughout and thanks for all the enthusiasm you know you guys have been constantly showing through your responses so to all the audience a big thanks from all the students from you know jn and college mam trichy bishop ever trichy ctt uh, nazareth college of arts and science avadi and to various other colleges you know faculties irundhingna periya nandri thank you for you know encouraging your students to participate today so one Once again until we meet you again you know uh, in another you know a session like this a webinar or a workshop or you know q and a like this this is you krista your host your you know moderator for today's session I was really honored to do this for you today and i'm thanking you once again from the bottom of my heart so this is my online status in wishing all the students here nothing but the best this year and the years to come stay tuned to our page like us subscribe to our channel you know and uh, share about us so we'll meet you again stay home stay safe rex big thanks to you yeah once again so see you all bye bye take a good care thank you students